Hello everyone, welcome once again to another awesome video. I still want to say Troka Bilago and today I will be going through the questions I'll be getting through my comment section, my YouTube comment section and I will be providing the answers to them, okay? Uh, I believe I have responded to almost all of them but I'm doing this video for those who have these same questions but are not opportune to ask them or don't know how to construct their question to ask me okay so make sure you subscribe to this channel like this video if you find value in it and most importantly share it to your friends if you find value in it okay so without much ado let's move forward okay all right so um most of the questions you're going to see are going to be pertaining tbc the billion coin Probably because of the secretive nature of information in TBC and how a lot of people have been secluded from information in, in, in the billion coin. Uh, number one is the, the monetizing of the blog. Secondly is the Zoom meeting. Not everybody can afford the airtime to be online for a Zoom meeting or the data for a Zoom meeting. So... Uh, you know, it leads to the question of whether the billion coin is still for the for the poor, or is it for those who can afford what is required to be part of the billion coin? All right. So uh, and um, and um, let it be an announcement that I no longer promote the billion coin. Okay, I might I might answer your questions, offer counsel, or offer services that you may need pertaining the billion coin, but. I no longer do videos about the billion coin or ask anybody to sign up, okay? Pro because I no longer believe in the project, okay? The Bitcoin bounty is working, okay? Uh, because you get paid 50% of it. Outside of that, every other thing is not worth it, okay? All right. So, for those of you guys who are messaging me and asking me to change theirs or those who say they have 10 tbc for sale or those who are asking me to throw more light well the only light i can I share with you right now is my cryptocurrency tbc shopping token which the tbc means the billionaires club which is different from the billion coin okay I cannot have a, it doesn't sound right to have a coin that says the billion coin shopping token. It doesn't make sense. How can a coin also have a shopping token? Okay. So it is called the billionaires club. Okay. The billionaires club shopping token. All right. So anyway, so let's go further to more questions. Okay. All right. So uh, one of my posts about 2020 promo and Bitcoin bounty. And then this was last year's uh, video, I think uh, January video, okay. Somebody posted this link about Philippine SEC exposes fraudulent abundance-based cryptocurrency investment scheme. Well, uh, the Philippine SEC has every right to label it a, a fraud because, number one, it does not offer an opportunity for those who have it to be able to assess the market and sell their coin anytime they want. And it does not make such provision. Rather, it's asking people to pay the admin fee, which is not compulsory, by the way. But at the same time, the only way you can get value in, t in the billion coin is in the billion coin is if you participate in the Bitcoin bank to where people who are your referrals pay admin fee and you get paid 50% of that. Also, you also have to pay your own 50%. You have to also pay your own admin fee to participate. Now, if this is okay with you, then go ahead and do it, okay? But please do not go and pay admin fee because of the coin alone. Because the coin is not what the system is, is using, okay? Uh, recently, there was an update on, on the wallet that was showing the Blockchain Explorer and I almost burst into laughter when I saw the Blockchain Explorer. You will know that that's not a, gen that is not a Blockchain Explorer by me looking at it. Okay, but let me not, di uh, let me not uh, digress, okay? I'm not here to bash the billion coin. I'm here to answer, qu answer questions that are posed to me on the on the um, on the youtube comments okay 
So, uh, so someone, uh, Konap, okay, this person complained about at the flyer exchange. At the flyer exchange is back online, okay. They had to move their database to another server. So, by doing that, they were offline for like five days. But they are back online and things are moving well right now. So, contact the support on Telegram or directly from the from the website and they will help you sort out any issue you have, okay? All right. So, um, somebody else say I can't send TBC to another account. All right. So, if you can't send TBC to another account, the billion coin to another account, it probably means you don't have a send button or your, your limit is restricted because you have not paid admin fee okay you have not paid the t the tbc admin fee all right remember what i told you do not pay the admin fee just to get 100 tbc it's not worth it rather if you're going to pay the admin fee let it be because of bitcoin bounty alone all right so this is my advice to all tbc members all right okay so um okay so the tbc shopping token pre ieo is still ongoing and I'll be making an announcement soon about the deadline of the pre-IEO, okay? And uh, what we have planned is that once the pre-IEO ends, it, it will, those who are who sign up to be mad agents, okay, depending on what we achieve, okay? If we, if we achieve the exchanges we intend to get, like we applied to Hotbit, we applied to IndoX, and we are and we are ap applied to uh, Etherflyer. Okay, now if we are able to get Etherflyer and one more exchange, then we will start the IEO. Okay, we will commence the IEO on those exchange, which is the initial exchange offer. Okay, which is a discounted purchase of TST on the exchange. All right, but but if we don't achieve the two exchanges or uh, we achieve only one it means that we'll have to get a tst agent agent listing to be the primary focus of buying tst okay while we work on the exchange gradually because uh, if if we don't have a means for people to sell their TV, tst which is a TBC shopping token, they might go to the exchange and depreciate the price. Okay, so right now we are recruiting much uh, agents, TST agents, and those who are going to be TST agents are those who buy, who bought TST. Okay, so I'll do a video about that, and the links will be provided in the description of that video. Okay, so. If you want to buy TST right now, you either buy through me, the creator of TST, or you go through the website of TST. Okay, and that option, these two options will be unavailable once we end the pre IEO. Okay, all right, so um, we also hold weekly uh, TST community meetings. So if you miss the, if you if you miss them, don't miss the uh, summary in my YouTube channel, okay? Or in this channel. All right, so... Okay, still question about the billion coin uh, send button uh, send button not showing. If your send button is not showing, it means you need to pay admin fee, the TBC admin fee, okay? But note, if you're paying admin fee just for the send button or uh, just to get 100 TBC, it's not worth it, okay? find a more reasonable value if it's for pro if it's for the bitcoin bounty then go ahead and pay the admin fee okay so um i did video uh, like the billion coin is not a cryptocurrency okay i did a, a part one and a part two and i explained you know what a cryptocurrency is how do you know that a, a digital currency is is uh, a cryptocurrency and most importantly, most importantly, most importantly, okay, we're differentiated between digital currency and cryptocurrency, okay? 
not all digital currencies are cryptocurrencies okay but all cryptocurrencies are digital currencies okay and the difference okay and the difference okay and the difference is because cryptocurrency is built is developed with cryptography okay it's secured with cryptography and it has a blockchain that details transactions i don't mean just listing them in details that you can even see sending wallet you can see receiving wallet you can see date time number of confirmation from different nodes and which the so-called blockchain explorer of the billion coin does not have any of this okay so uh somebody asked can a block can a coin be removed from a blockchain and still function just as tbc coin well yes because a digital currency is not based on blockchain it's digital currency is just like an e-wallet system okay so you can only send you can only do transaction between those uh, the holders of those uh, digital currency so i might have to do a different video about digital currency alone and also discuss discuss the business model of the likes of paypal the likes of uh Skrill, netella okay because these options were already available even before the dawn of bitcoin all right so uh somebody asked how can i start benefiting from tbc well bitcoin bounty is the only option somebody asked will bit tbc become like bitcoin in the economy phase like exchange it to money through banks it will never be like that okay it's not designed to work it's not it will never be like that okay because it's not based on how do i put it this way it's they say it's based on abundance okay it's not based on market so anything that does not have a market you have to you just have to leave banks out of it okay and when you talk about the economic phase i don't know what the economic phase really is because when people spend when people spend more money than the percentage of tbc i don't think that's the economic phase okay so somebody asked can a private blockchain be created if yes means that tbc can create uh if you if a if a somebody okay so based on this question i think my response was this okay you can create a blockchain that a blockchain is private means that only those who run the nodes okay can have access to that data all right just like you have libra libra is not an open or a public blockchain libra's blockchain is private and who are the node operators the node operators are the organizations okay they are the organizations that sign up to be part of the Libra Association. And they are the ones running the nodes. I get what I'm saying. So they make a piece of the admin of the transaction fees. Alright. So they run the nodes. And for you to create a blockchain, there has to be a currency. Okay. And then in this case, the currency that runs on the blockchain if it is libra blockchain then it's libra is this libra's cryptocurrency if it is bitcoin's blockchain it is bitcoin if it is ethereum's blockchain then it's ethereum if it is tron's blockchain then it's tron that is the currency so if the tvc i mean wants to go and create a standard blockchain then it has to start afresh with delivering new sets of coins so and that is very expensive okay that's very expensive to do i'm not saying he doesn't have the money to do that but that's not his main intention because you can see his main intention by where from where he spends the most money most money is being spent on kringo.cash than on tbc009 okay or than trying to make sure that the billion coin is a standard cryptocurrency which it is not okay all right so um somebody okay appreciations from eye opener this is an eye opener and enlightening broadcast okay also another appreciation appreciation 
Okay. So uh, I did a question and answer. Uh, the question and answer. Okay. And somebody uh, somebody said this. Okay. Uh, the topic of that video was does TBC the billion coin have value? Okay. So somebody responded if you if you if you can only sell the billion coin to someone and accept their cash, then it really isn't worth it. Okay. So which means that because it's not easily sellable okay it is not really worth it okay all right so um okay uh, this question has to do with the security question when the billion coin uh crypto uh, with the wallet was updated okay or upgraded okay all right so All right, so this person talking about paying the admin fee. Um, somebody asked, why aren't you showing your face? Okay, part of the reason why I don't show my face in my videos is that I record my videos at odd times. Okay, if you live in my neighborhood or if you live in Nigeria, you know that having a YouTube channel, especially if you're living in the urban area, is one of the most difficult things to do. Because you have the sound of generators, the sound of activities in your environment, you have a lot of, mm. you know, distraction from ki your kids if you work from home. So the best time that I record my videos are early in the morning, and most times early in the morning, there is no light. Okay, so I end up having to record it as a podcast. Okay, as a visual podcast okay uh, so i do it early hours in the morning and sometimes and most times you're not allowed in my area you're not allowed to own the generator uh past midnight okay so that's why you find me doing my videos without showing my face because even if i show my face right now you won't see anything because i am the dark recording the video okay so and uh, using a rechargeable light it's not even worth it because if the video is not of quality then it doesn't make sense to recording it so bear with me while i improve my channel so that's why i do more of visual podcast over recording videos okay all right so still questions on tb on the billion coin then uh, the binary registration this is august and uh, very, i will be making an announcement soon about the binary class for august so if you're interested in learning binary trading uh let me know and i will guide you on how to register for this month's uh class online whatsapp class okay we'll do the training once in a month okay i said two weeks training two weeks intensive training of with videos to learn from with uh, pdf word documents and one-on-one -on -one guide from the expert who does the trade the the training okay so i'll be making an announcement about the binary registration so if you want to register let me know okay all right so um someone has this yes okay Still about the billion coin. I've answered most of these questions. Okay. And um, I think in this particular one, I need to answer this question because a lot of people contact me about this. Look, what you have is the billion coin. Okay. Or Kringles. That's all you have. You don't have Ether. You don't have Bitcoin. Okay. And you don't have US dollar neither. Or you don't have Naira in your TBC wallet or your the billion coin wallet okay you don't have those things what you have is the billion coin all right the fact that you're seeing it in those currencies does not mean it's withdrawable in those currencies oh uh, i get what i'm saying so for those of you guys who have been looking at your wallet and mesmerizing uh getting mesmerized by the value of your coin just know that what you have is the billion coin so stop trying to send it to a trust wallet stop trying to send it to a blockchain wallet and stop trying to send it to any ethereum 
uh, Bitcoin wallet because that's not what it's meant for. Okay, it's not designed that way that you can you send the billion coin from your wallet to another cryptocurrency wallet just because that the value is showing in Bitcoin. Okay, so your wallet can only do your TBC wallet, which is the billion coin, can only do a TBC wallet to TBC wallet transaction, nothing else. Okay. All right. So, um, oh, uh, so how do I cash out my TBC? Well, you have to well, go, you have to have a buyer to be able to sell the billion coin. That's the only way, and uh, the only the only way. How do I, how do I put it this way? You know that effort is defeated because you have a lot of people who are getting free coins for just signing up or maybe just paying the admin fee okay so instead of looking for a way to cash out maybe you might educate people on the bitcoin bounty and you yourself can get involved with the bitcoin bounty instead of trying to cash out the tbc so uh, somebody asked Jacquees Divine asked where is the best way to exchange TBC to Bitcoin? Well, the only option I've experienced is that somebody paid me in Bitcoin for the billion coin. Okay, but that was years ago before before the introduction of the admin fee. Okay, okay, so. Uh, for those who want to buy TST, which is the the which is the Billionaires Club shopping token or TBC shopping token, okay, you buy through me or through the website of TST during this pre IEO. Once the pre once the pre IEO ends, then people will have to go and buy through. Who will have to go through and buy through? Um, people will have to go and buy through uh tst agents okay all right so hurry up and buy now while it's still available at the discount okay so um all right so somebody asked i downloaded the app there is no tmt only tmh you edited it well i didn't edit anything okay vindax exchange delisted tmt okay which is the math token and the math token is the native token of the math app. Okay, so vendors exchange the listed TMT because of poor trading volume. Okay, so um, I think that's. So that's it for this video. Don't have much to say here. I believe I've addressed every single question here. Okay. So um, if you have more questions based on this video and uh, you did not see the answer, okay, or you did not get the the response that you needed, just contact me directly. Okay. Just contact me directly. All right so um that's it for this video um watch it share with your friends if you find value in it subscribe to my channel and most importantly if you still have pending questions don't hesitate to ask me okay all right guys that's it for this video till i see you guys next time take care bye for now